everybody and welcome to today's plan with me video. I'll be planning out the end of January. I decided to do the last three days of January on this page and then a January reflections page starting fresh with February. So um, I hope you follow along with me. Today I'll be using my ruler, pencil and eraser for my pre-planning. I'll be using these three tombos. The Blue Tombow 493, the Yellow Tombow 055, and the Green Tombow 173. I will also be using a mono drawing pen, a Tombow mono drawing pen in the three size. Um, I just recently started using these. My sister actually recommended them and I, I absolutely love them. You can erase over top of them and they don't fade like the Faber Castell pit pens do or the Micron pens do. So those are great. If you're a pencil first kind of person, you're really going to want it to look into getting some of these. Um, I'll be using this stamp set again. I think it's from Studio Calico. Um, I'm not too sure. I've lost the little piece of paper that comes with it. And uh, I just recently got the Studio Calico stamp set, so I'll be using this one as well. Again, you want to be careful when you're stamping what inks you use in your journals. Um, I was told this Brilliance Pigment Ink Pad is the best. It doesn't bleed through and there's minimal ghosting. Um, so that's the one I'll be using. So um, please follow along. Uh, there'll be more instructions on my blog if you miss anything or if you prefer to read versus watch a video. And um, thank you for joining me. Jo thank you for joining me today. As always, I'm gonna start with measuring. I'm gonna do my last three days of January 1st and then I'll be doing my reflections page here and uh, these will be reflections on the month so so what I'm doing right now uh, my next step will be to make sure the blocks are even so I'll be measuring them out Twelve blocks on each side. Sorry, just to check. Perfect. And uh, I'll be doing ten blocks up. So. And up top here will be my header box. So these are twelve boxes by ten boxes. On the left hand side will be my days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And on the left hand side, I will be using this portion for my memory planning that I've been incorporating into my spreads. And I was actually going to do a little something different. I wasn't going to have a solid line separating the journal square necessarily I was rather going to have the stamp but I still want to mark out more or less what I want that to look like. Again I use the HP sprocket which is roughly two inches which fits by three inches. So. Okay. So the next step I'll be doing my January reflections page portion. And I'm going to want to keep the boxes fairly similar just so that I am achieving that balance that you look for in your spreads. So this page 
on my reflection reflections page we're gonna split it by 12 blocks as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine And then I'm looking to divide this into um, eight squares, so four on each side. So. so this first block is 12 by eight boxes. The next box is seven by eight boxes. The next set of blocks were back to eight and seven. So although not quite even, at least it's got some pattern to it, which helps. <laughs> okay. Next up, I'm going to do my colorful border outline. I'll be starting with the green 173. And I like it to be just a little bit darker, so I'll be going over it twice. I'll be taking my blue and I'll be taking my mono drawing pen in the size 5 and I'm just going to create a black divide between the two colors. Now I'm going to be decorating, oh I'll come back to that, let's do all the practical stuff first. So I'm going to outline my boxes, I'm actually going to take it in by one, just so that we're further away from that water. So I'm going to leave that line there. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use a stamp as the natural separator versus drawing a solid line in there, just to give it a different feel. And now just to show you how great these Tombow Mono line pens are, I'm going to just show you the how you can erase over the top of them and you're, it's not going to fade. So now I'm going to start the decorative portion, well, more decorative than just the border. And I'll be doing January in calligraphy. Kind of ran out of space there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get over that. And then while I'm in here, we're we gonna do this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Tombow Mono Drawing size three 
and I'm just going to outline the letters so that you can see them better. And I'll be using the size one to go in and outline the letters. So I'm just going to move this aside. And then I'll be doing the same on this one. And I'm just going to write in reflections down here. Okay, next up I'll be writing in the days. I'll be using the size one just to emphasize these a little bit. Okay, and now I will be coming in with my stamps. My memory keeping aspect I'm going to be using the Studio Calico one that I got. Um, it's by Studio Calico and One Little Bird. Um, I'm going to use the It Seemed Like a Good Idea. They have a little toddler tornado, so we use that phrase a lot in this house. Brilliance ink pad. So this is the first time I'm using this stamp. As I mentioned in my previous Plan With Me video, if it's the first time I'm using a stamp, I like to just do a couple of pass-bys on a regular piece of paper just to get all the gunk off the stamp. When it's new, it's going to have chemicals and a, a bit of a film on it. You want to make sure that it's not getting on your stamp. Okay. Okay. So make sure even pressure all around. This might not work as well as I want it to because there's a bit of a dip in the work. Not great, but what we can do is we can go through with one of the mono pens and just darken that up a little bit. Um, but we're gonna have to let that dry first. If you watched my last one, I managed to smudge it up very good. So one of the things I recently got, I got this Hempton Art Stamp Scrubber Cleaning Pad. And uh, it's pretty good. Just go in, clean your pads your inks. What you do is you put a drop of stem cleaner on it and then you can go through and clean it on this. There you go. Good enough. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to be using this watching, feeling, loving, loathing, exploring, eating and making um, as part of my January 
reflections. I am going to use a smaller stamp, a smaller acrylic block. So part of the reason why this happened, I have a bad habit of rocking the stamp back and forth, which I know I shouldn't. I also know I shouldn't eat Doritos, but they're just so good, can't help it. And when it comes to stamping, I'm just so impatient, so. Okay, next up is feeling. As you can tell, I'm not the world's greatest stamper. But practice, practice, practice. Loving. While those are drying, I'm just going to go in and try and fix this one up a little bit. It's frustrating to me because I understand the theory, but my execution is sometimes lacking. But again, practice. And this is my ever trusty <laughs> Uniball Signo white ink gel pen. are drying I'm gonna draw in my boxes for my days Okay, so now that this is a little bit more dry, I'm going to go in and fix this up a bit. Please don't judge my stamp, sk stamp skills too harshly. I just want to make a point that you don't have to be a superstar all-star to use this stuff. Pretty much like most things in life, you just fake it till you make it. Up a little bit. 
And then in this extra square here, I intend on doing a quote. Um, I just have to decide which one I'm going to use. I'd like to find one that captures what January was for me and my family. It was a lot of celebration. We had a lot of birthdays. And I don't know, it was just very hectic overall. Like, I don't even understand where January went pretty much. I'm sure it's like that for a lot of you too. Let's darken this guy. Um, I'm looking forward to February. I will be trying some new, well, a new layout perhaps in February. Um, I guess after spending a month using a layout similar to this one you just saw me do, my biggest my biggest issues has been running out of space um, like I said this isn't my family planner this is my personal planner for my for what I want to do and my interests so um, I've just been running out of space the last few months um, so I want something that has more space to write down my tasks that I want to accomplish um, I've been using I've been using the dots to fill out the space a bit so that it's not as dull looking if that makes sense so when I'm done here I'm going to go through and do the same effect in here I just don't want to bore you guys with it as it is tedious to watch um, but I will be posting a finished spread um, I'm also going to go through and do lines in here. I can do that with you now quickly. But overall, yeah, I've enjoyed this layout. I just need a bit more space to write stuff down, so I'll see what February brings. But I had a couple of people ask me on Instagram if I'd stamped my boxes. The answer is no, and you just saw my video as to why I stamp as little as possible. Um, but I am working on it. I do want to improve my stamping skills. Um, like I said, I understand the theory. I've had stamping in my life for a while. I just am out of practice and my execution isn't the greatest. But I don't want to let that perfection perfectionism in perfectionist in me win because if it if I listened to her I wouldn't try anything new so watching along with me today. I'll be posting the completed spread on Instagram and my Facebook page, My Dalby Mill Life. You can also find more information on my blog. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for a quote for January. Um, I struggle finding quotes a lot. I'm just not a huge quote person, but I'm trying to incorporate more of that into my 2018. So let me know. Let me know if you have any suggestions to help my stamping technique. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. <laughs>